Thank you for listening to today's podcast. For more information, go to generousjune.co.uk. Today's podcast is brought to us by Katie Hodkinson, Curate, St. Andrew's Charminster. For 2024, our focus verse is Luke chapter 18, verse 27. What is impossible with man is possible with God. All of our podcasters will be reflecting on times of receiving generosity and sharing the personal impact it left on their life. Before I was ordained, I used to spend a lot of time working in the Middle East and I would regularly visit Jerusalem and Cairo. These incredible cities captured my heart. There was always such an amazing buzz, such a focus on community living, eating together and sharing life alongside one another. Often though, the people I encountered were not from wealthy backgrounds. If anything, they had very little in terms of possessions or material wealth. One particular time, I was with a colleague in a taxi in Bethlehem. The taxi driver, a local guy who'd grown up in Bethlehem, had spent the morning taking us to various different places and waiting for us at each point for an unknown amount of time. We chatted with him on each part of the journey. We learnt more about his family, about the pressures and challenges of life in the occupied West Bank. As we got to the end of our morning of visits, the driver turned to us and said, please, I really want to invite you both to my home for lunch. Please come. I want you to meet my family and my my wife, my children. Now, as a white British female raised in the countryside in Devon, the whole stranger danger notion had been really drummed into me. If someone offered you something for free, surely something suspicious was going on. But my colleague and I thought, why not? After all, in Arab culture, saying no to hospitality is a big no-no. On the way to his house, he stopped off quickly at a local bakery, ran in and grabbed loads of amazing smelling baked goods and took us to his home. His wife, who spoke no English, embraced me as if I was a long-lost sister. We were ushered into this tiny space, just one communal living area and one bedroom for six people. We were told to sit whilst an amazing spread of food was put in front of us. This was clearly a family that had very little. And the food that they were giving to us was ultimately going to cost them. But they gave their very best for us, complete strangers, like it was just instinctive. Generosity was such a part of their heart, their lifestyle and who they were. This had a profound impact on me and my own Christian understanding of generosity. How often did I actually invite people into my home who weren't my friends? And if I did, what did I give them? A few biscuits, maybe? Probably not a whole meal. Probably not the very best of what I had. But this is the heart of God that we learn of most fully through Jesus Christ, who gave him very his very self for us, each one of us, even his life on a cross. As we learn about in Luke chapter 18, which is our focus text for this year's Generous June. Sometimes our possessions and wealth are a distraction for us in coming to realise this truth. But when we receive Jesus Christ, we receive the richest, most valuable gift of all. True life. And this puts all the things we have that we own and cling to into a brand new perspective. When we are really truly transformed by this, we can learn too to hold lightly to the things we own, to give freely and generously, just as I experienced with this amazing family in Bethlehem. For many of us, this might feel totally out of reach, unattainable perhaps. 
just as it does for the rich man that we read about in Luke chapter 18. But the call of Jesus is the same to us today as it is to the rich man in this story. Come and follow me. Don't follow your wealth. Don't follow your possessions. Follow me. Now, this might feel impossible, but Jesus reminds us what is impossible with man is possible with God. So why don't we pray together? Lord Jesus, thank you that you show us the truest meaning of generosity, of a life that is lived for others sacrificially without holding back. Father, it can feel impossible for us to truly let go of what we have in this world and to give radically to others. But you promise us that you alone can change our hearts and that with you all things are possible. So by your Holy Spirit, Lord, we ask you to do this work in our lives, right here and right now that we might encounter your generous love afresh and be prompted to start practising a more radical generosity to those that we know and those that we don't know. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.